So here's my cooking setup. I got the uh, Sea to Summit kettle. I also have a Sea to Summit coffee filter. Sea to Summit mug. MSR fuel tank. I like these because they're smaller. And I got a little pocket rocket on here. Heating up my water right now for my grits. Having some grits. Having some uh, vegan vegan sausage. That's just fake sausage there. And uh, carrying it in a Sea to Summit evac bag. It's got like a little clip on the side. You know, hang it up in a tree. Squishes all the air out and stuff. And I have my... What do you call this? This is a platypus. It's the uh, gravity feed system. What is it? Gravity works. Yeah. Gravity works. Filter. I do absolutely nothing except fill the dirty, the uh, dirty pack up with water. Put it up higher than this. Filter it down into it, and I'm good to go. And in less, this, let's say a minute since I started this, that's when I first turned the water on or turned the, uh, turned the stove on to boil my water. And it looks like it's almost ready to put my grits in. So we're at two minutes and I'm about to have lunch. So the water got to a boil. And now, we're going to add the grits in. Do -do 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 -do. Easy peasy. Let's see. I'll just put some of these, some of those in there for now. Oh, and I got a little Sea to Summit spoon. I don't do the spork. This is good enough. Now I'm going to scoop this around and I'm going to eat. So I've stirred it up, let it sit for just a little bit, let it get a little creamier. Bon appetit. I usually hold it about like that. You know, it heats it up down on the bottom. So I don't want to touch that, but I'll put like my, my finger through it right there. Can I grab a hold? Woo, it's hot. It's good, I was hungry. Might cook some coffee in a minute. So this time it's the same setup, but I'm going to have coffee. I'm gonna use my Sea to Summit collapsible coffee filter. So I went ahead and put my water in here using this cup, filled it up, and that, you know, that's how much I'll drink. So I filled it up that much and then poured that into here. Now, let's get some coffee. This is just how I do it. I like to put it in here, about two spoonfuls. Let's stir that around a little bit. Let it kind of soak in there. I'm gonna boil it in just a second. Let's get all the grounds nice and wet. Hey, you make your coffee in the woods. I know some people do instant coffee. Yeah, this is how I've been doing it recently. So you just turn it on till you hear the hiss. Pop it. Start the bowl. Now that's going. Yeah. 
It goes pretty quick. Yeah, it holds it. I mean, there's no wind or anything right here. I mean, I got the, the truck blocking it. I just stopped for a nice, nice lunch. We fold my bag up. Grind all my coffee before coming out. I, use, I like whole bean, freshly ground. It does better. That's just what I keep it in. Press all the air out because the air is horrible for coffee. That, that's my, uh, what that, bench made, yeah, bench made knife. I got this from a friend. See, you can see a little bench made symbol on it. Man, I paid him for it. This is the Doug version. This is his, uh, his style of blade. I like it because of that. Right there, you can do it all one hand. Are we ready yet? We're getting there. We're getting ready. And another thing I like about this pocket rocket is you can bring it down to a simmer. So when it starts to boil, and I'm trying to look in there to see if I got a boil yet. When it starts to boil, you can turn it down. To just a simmer. That's that's what's so good about this pocket rocket. You guys are literally watching this video, waiting for water to boil. Oh, there it goes. There it goes. This you can. I don't know if you can see it in there, but it's it's bubbling bubbling I like to take it off a little bit otherwise it just goes overboard you can, let's see this way right here just bring it down to a light simmer and just boil it can you see in there oh yeah Oh yeah, get all those coffee grounds going. Alright. Let's turn that off. Just let it sit there and cool off. And now I'll take this. You see it's got the filter already in it. Put that on top. What's great about all this is it collapses up into one little small thing. I'll show you at the end. I just take this. And I pour it right through. You can see it just catches my coffee grounds so it doesn't go in. I mean, you could do it where you can pour the hot water over top of it, but I like to get a little bit more flavor out of it and do it this way. Boom! Coffee. So... That's how I make my coffee in the woods. A little Cedar Summit set. Cedar Summit set. Now I was worried if I could touch this or not, but I mean, I just poured it. You can touch the rim of this. I was worried when I bought these cups to see if I could touch it. You can touch the rim. It's getting a little hot. I'm gonna put it down. Woo! Now on a nice cold morning, I'll sit there and I'll hold my cup like that. But it's, it's the end of July right now, so it's still kind of warm. I just really dig coffee, really love coffee. Drink it all the time, morning, noon, and night. Coffee. Oh, my addiction's so bad. I just want to drink hot boiling coffee right now.
No, it's like right there, ain't it? It's right there. Fade it. Feinin, feinin. Well, now I want to stick my lips on it and going to burn my, burn my lips, burn my tongue. Don't do it. Hold up. Don't drink it yet. You're going to do yourself in. I know. I'm good at that. It holds its heat pretty good. I usually do the uh, double wall steel mugs, you know, around the house, work, things like that. Oh yeah, I see, I'll, I'll hold it like that. Warm me up. I don't think it's ready yet. I think it's too hot. Let me show you around. So I had you sitting on my truck. Here's the coffee. I'll be right back. Be right back, coffee. Right back. So I just pulled off the side. A little campfire. A little creek. And it is beautiful out here. Absolutely beautiful. Woo! That rock moves. You couldn't see it on your end, but it was shaky on mine. Look at that little waterfall. I'm thinking about spending the night here. Not sure yet. I got to go see the uh, courthouse falls. But these waterfalls are beautiful. Let's see if I can skip across. Whoop, whoop, whoop. Can't go too far. That coffee's calling. Then, even up here. This is what I like. Right up here. There's a nice, this is deep. Right there, that is deep. So I got my own little waterfall for somebody that some stacked some rocks to screw up some salamander's habitat. But I got my own little Small little poo. Small little poo. Swim in the poo. Hey man, wanna jump in the poo? I got my own poo. Oh, time for coffee. Let's go back and get the coffee. I got my own poo. It's got to be. It's got to be ready. Oh yeah, I feel it. Still warm. Mmm, nice and dark. Ah, so good. Well, guys, thanks for joining me for a cup of joe. And seeing my little cook set up and where I carry my food and how I filter my water and just all that, all that kind of fun stuff. I guess if you're new to YouTube, you might not know, but, uh, so there's a little subscribe button down below the video if you turn your phone up or if you're on a computer, there's a little subscribe. If you click that or press that, then, uh, that way you'll get my videos in your feed. And there's a little bell beside it. And if you click that bell to where it looks like it's ringing, then you'll get notified whenever I put a new video up. So... Go ahead and subscribe, and then hit the bell, and that way, you know, I, I upload videos about once, maybe twice a week, and that way you'll get notified, and it'll be in your feed, and if you want to go to your notifications, you can go over to your notifications, and then right there, you'll see my, my videos. So, it'll just say, you know, once you open up YouTube, it'll say you got a notification, you go to your notifications and then you can click on my video and then you can watch it. Easy peasy. Now, you take it, you collapse it down. Same, same deal. Same deal. Collapse it down. Bigger, bigger, bigger. Right? Boom. Right? 
and boom doo -doo -doo -doo. put that on there and you got this little band puts it all together and a nice thin little deal and I'll put it in this little sack along with that and this little stove folds up take it off of here I was talking to one guy he didn't know if he could take them off of there and he can oh put this down there you go it's a two handed job because the sides like to stay squished in put this on in that bag I like to put this little cap I keep putting the cap on until it's done like there's no more fuel in it and then I like to put my lighter in there kind of keep all this stuff together leave no trace pack up your trash I'll take my bag put my cooking stuff in it well, yeah, cooking stuff, fuel stuff, coffee stuff, leftover sausage stuff, trash, and you, uh, I don't know if you can see up here. Can you see? No. Nope. So up here, you kind of fold this over, right? Grab it, and it'll start to roll. Hold on, let me turn this around. So it's like that, and you roll it down a little bit, and you come around, lock it. And you see it's got that little hook. You can hang it up in the tree. But you can also press all the air out because it's uh, one of these event. It's an event see the summit bag. Dry bag. This is a 13 liter. Plenty. And that's it. Time to pack it up. And go see a waterfall.